fellow students good morning i'm going to introduce today our course on animal breeding and genetics so the general objective of this course is to master concepts mathematical tools applied to animal breeding improvement through selection and breeding now for you to comfortably follow this course you need some prerequisite in mendelian genetics and in population genetics now some history even though gregor mendel is known as the father of heredity with the discovery of the laws of inheritance in 1865 Robert Bickewell had already established the first head book and also the very first breeds of horse and cattle in 1800. Now, in 1900, Batson initiated the term genetic as a science while Adi and Wembe independently discovered or established the foundations of population genetics. In 1910, Thomas Morgan discovered the chromosomes as the support of the Mendelian factors of inerity inheritance sorry meanwhile johansson the same year called those mendelian factors genes now lush and falconer respectively established the principles of quantitative genetics in 1930 and 1960 respectively Now, three prominent scientists, including Avery, MacLeod, and McCarthy in 1944, established the evidence that the DNA is the genetic material. Meanwhile, three years earlier, Beadle and Tatum established the one gene, one enzyme concept. Now, the revolution of animal breeding and genetics and more specifically the application of modern molecular biology to genetics and animal breeding started with the discovery of the double helix structure of the DNA by Watson and Craig and this was in 1953. Now, at this point in time, I'm going to assign to you to establish the specific connection or interdependence between the work of the 12 precursors of animal breeding and genetics earlier presented. Notes, please. You shouldn't write more than one type page so one type page is the maximum fine our animal breeding and genetic content will cover review of statistics overviews of population genetics elements of quantitative genetics, animal breeding, and then application of biotechnologies in animal breeding and genetics. As far as the method of delivery is concerned, teaching, engagement, and assessment will all be done online, considering the current context. So, at this point, 
Dear students, I want to thank you for your kind attention and see you for our next class.